steal from the last three years. Tell them what I thought. I got to talk to them before I came out here. But what is you crazy mother? Barbara, Damon, and everybody. And I gotta tell you, it has been such an honor to be on the show after all this time. Greatest thing about the show is, for me, two things. One, it teaches you the language of business. You know, the greatest divide in this country is people that know and people that don't know. Charlatan, altruistic, weird, cool. Let's just have a conversation in 11 years. 
The price and value of content, especially authentic documented content, is incredibly high. And that's just how I see it. I see the opportunity is enormous, and I feel like a lot of people are just somewhere in the middle, don't see it at all, or aren't taking advantage of it. Whatever you are doing or trying to achieve in your life, if you are not putting full effort behind the pictures, videos, and written words in these platforms that are of the day, then you are making a humongous mistake. Do you understand that everybody's front of phone right now, and I know some of you like to keep the front screen you know, clean, so if you swipe it right now, like, do you understand what percentage of your phone is either utility or social? Like, do you understand how much of your day is actually spent in here? Coca-Cola and Budweiser and Toyota and GE over the next half decade will finally understand that no human being in this room right now wants to watch a television commercial. They also do not want to click banner ads that cookie them and are following them all around the internet. We're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars being spent on advertising that nobody gives a shit about and isn't working. When Coca-Cola and Budweiser's proper money goes into Facebook and Instagram, just like it did with Google, after 1999 to 2006, everything changed. I used to steal customers off Google. They cost five to 10 cents a click. Those same wine words became four or five dollars. Amazon was the biggest spender on Google in the early days of Google, which is why it's Amazon. You sit in this room right now and you are grossly disrespecting how underpriced Facebook and Instagram is and you are leaving huge opportunity. And when you figure it out over the next decade, you're gonna to wanna to spend money there. But getting in front of the person you wanna get in front of is gonna cost you $40 to get in front of a thousand people instead of the four to five dollars it costs today. Period, end of story, basic, basic supply and demand of Instagram, excuse me, with Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And so now I'm really pushing. And I'm scared for the ones that have followed me because it could seem like it's the same, but it's not. And I'm scared for the ones that haven't gone all in. And I'm scared for the ones that have run $1,000 worth of Facebook ads and have deemed Facebook not working. And I'm scared because I won't be here in 2019 or 2020 or 2021 because it's not gonna be as good again. And I'll be back in my cocoon working, feeding, making shit happen. And I'll pop back up in 2026 if it's voice, or if it's VR, or if it's something else. But my friends, I don't want you to grab your life by the horn because that's just a good universal truth. I want you to go all in and become a practitioner in content for the mobile device across 11 platforms because it's so underpriced that your talent and hard work and money will compound dramatically in return for what you're trying to achieve and that will slowly go away because if you all go do it, it's gonna cost $7 to get in front of a 44 to 47 year old African American who loves the Houston Rockets and is likely to buy sneakers. Do you understand what's going on out there? This shit is changing the geopolitical climate in our world. It is changing government behavior and you don't think you can sell your fucking house? Wake the fuck up. Well, thank you.